kalau ibu sayang sama kakak. My son. Semua yang You know that your mom loves you. Segera. Those who have hurt you will be punished. I am sure that you are happier in paradise. In December, David was walking along the street with a friend when he was attacked by a gang of youths. They beat him and left him to die. David was just 15. His killers have not been caught. When my husband and I reached the hospital, my son was in a serious condition. There was a motorcycle gear stuck in his head. His skull was crushed. His face swollen and bloody. He was unrecognizable. I was devastated. David is a victim of the youth-led violence poisoning Indonesian society. Street gangs can be found all over the country. They film themselves taking part in motorbike races, beatings and machete attacks, then share the footage online. The more violent the attack, the bigger the buzz. Their victims are rival gang members or sometimes innocent passers-by. Even though the police are taking action, the number of gang-related incidents rises every year. It scares me. I'm afraid to go out. We don't feel safe because of the Kliti gangs. Kliti traditionally means roaming outside to kill time, but it now has a much darker meaning, simply to kill. It's now used to refer to youth gangs, and Yogyakarta is the epicenter of this crime wave. It's hard to say exactly how widespread Kliti has become. Official statistics probably understate the true extent of the problem, as many victims fail to contact police. We were able to convince a member of one gang to allow us to film him. He moves around with the 60 members of his gang and usually on his motorcycle. This is his hideout. This is where I keep my weapons. I use this saber to slash the jackets of my enemies. This is a bicycle gear wheel. When they see it, they get scared. I use this to smash their helmets and injure them. One day when we attacked our enemies, they tried to flee, but we ran after them and stabbed them. One of them lost three fingers. He's still at school, as are eight out of ten youth gang members, according to police. I used to be looking for meaning in my life. By joining a gang, I felt stronger. And now they respect me at school, especially the younger ones. If I leave the gang before I leave school, the other members will make fun of me and I'll have to fight them. My parents don't know anything about this. If they knew, they'd kick me out. In Yogyakarta, the Kliti influence begins at school. In the 1990s, mafia-style rivalries started taking root among high school students. The gangs prospered by recruiting new students. David, the young boy killed in December 2022, attended this school. Teachers have started running extracurricular activities to discourage students from roaming the streets. But the initiative could not save David. The principal says she feels powerless to stop the violence and wants parents to take more responsibility. When I was young, youths went around on bicycles, but these days they all have motorcycles. In the old days, fights broke out between two people and they would be resolved inside the group, but now they involve weapons. Parents need to understand that times have changed. The authorities are attempting a crackdown, expelling students and organizing anti-Kliti evening patrols. Some are hoping that sport can bring about change. At this martial arts club, former Kliti members have swapped their weapons for boxing gloves. 
Some of my students used to have a terrible lifestyle. They would get up in the afternoon and stay out the whole night. But they felt good when they started winning at sports and felt able to talk about their problems. They start to live better lives. They train here two or three times a week. Sport is already having a positive effect. One of the coach's protégés, a former Cleti member, has become a national kickboxing champion. But with Cleti crimes doubling in the last five years, his is a rare success story.